Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Abu Huraira radiallahu anhu said about himself, he said, once I was invited to a wedding. And he said, I wore these clothes to the wedding, meaning his everyday clothes. Nothing fancy. So he said, when I reached the venue, the man at the door, seeing what I was wearing, turned me back. So he went to his house, changed his clothes, came back to the venue, and they let him in. So when he sat down and they served the food, he spoke to his clothes and he said, eat, eat. The people around him were surprised and they said, Abu Huraira, why are you inviting your clothes to eat? He said, they are the ones that were invited in. Many times the people around us, how they relate to us, the reason they respect us is because of what we have, not because of who we are. They see our titles, they see the car, the house, how much money we have, what they can get from us, and they're close, and they're around us, they respect us. The evidence is that when we lose these things, they stop respecting us. Anyone who respects you because of what you have, anyone who pretends to love you because of what you have, not because of who you are, does not really love you. And this is not the way that we're supposed to relate to other people. If we hate this feature in other people, we should hate it in ourselves. So when you look at somebody else, don't simply look at his clothes or at her house and car or the title or how much money she says she has, but look at who the person is and relate to and respect who the person is, not what they have, because what you have and what he and she has can go and come. But the taqwa that you have, the iman that you have, who you are, that's the thing that stays. We ask Allah Azza wa Jal to give us wisdom so that we can distinguish between right and wrong and behave accordingly. Jazakumullah khaira. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.